We got fish jumping. We got sirens going. We got geese honking. We got helicopters flying overhead. We got stranded daughters on an island. We got it all going on today. Oh boy. Take out the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub that kitchen floor. You ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Don't talk back. Too muddy. There we go. And we're off. We'll go right straight across here. I'm all wet. Yeah? Well, that's what happens when you're in the kayak. Huh? See that bird up there? Summer. So the birds all sit up there. And they out, and you guys can't, don't go underneath them because they'll poop on you. Touchdown. Bye. Hi, Mr. Goose. Well, hello, everyone. It is Jay, Jason, whatever you want to call me. And this is April 30th, 2022. We finally had a nice, beautiful day out. It's a high of 15, 16 degrees. Sort of sunny, so sort of over overcast, but um, all in all, a decent day. And we actually have some water in the lake finally we were out here a couple weeks ago and uh, we didn't have much water I thought I could get out under the lake then but not so much um, but today water levels back up still about probably two or three feet away from uh, normal which should be happening in the next probably couple weeks or so it is slowly filling up. Seen a lot of fish today, jumping oh. out of the water. <laughs> Look at them all. I actually brought my net. I'm out here today with um, my daughter. It's the first time, not her first time in the kayak, but first time being untethered to the shore. Uh, we. Had her a few years ago, the past few years, I guess, just off and on uh, with the little rope, hundred foot rope from the kayak to the shore, holding it on to, so she could just practice her paddling. But this year, since I have my new kayak, 
which we'll go into in a minute here. And uh, so she's taken over my other one. So my, my kids can use the old one and I'm gonna use a new one, of course, because they don't deserve new stuff. No, I don't know. <laughs> my kids get me, the kids get the hand-me-downs from the parents. So of course I forgot the wind muff on here today, I forgot it. And of course it's breezy out, a little bit windy out here, not too bad. Seen quite a few Canada geese. They're on their way back. Some probably never left. They're honking at each other. No, I think they're chasing the other two away. So I'm in the new Delta kayak. It's the Delta 1210. So it's basically 13 feet long, just a couple inches shy of 13 feet. I already noticed the difference between this and the Pelican I had. Pelican was a decent uh, kayak for a starter recreational kayak. This 1210 is a considered a light touring kayak. Um, material it's made with is a bit different. It's a lot lighter. The glide in the water. It just glides like nobody's business. It's a smoother material and it just, there's less friction in the water. You can just tell there's less friction against the kayak. Uh, so this thing just glides along nice and smooth. Very stable, very stable. I can rock it back and forth and I'm not going anywhere, so. I'm just going past this island here this island won't be here in the next couple weeks. It'll be underwater. And look who it is! Hey, who are you? How'd you get out there? Do you need to be rescued? Yeah, Do you need to be rescued? <laughs> I'll find somebody to rescue you. I'll be back! I'll be back! I will get you! Don't worry, I will get you! I'll send out the rescue team! I have no idea though. I have no idea who that was. Like I say, we're still probably two or three feet of depth away from being at normal height, normal depth. So that big log there in the water, or not in the water, out of the water, you will not see that in the next couple of weeks. That'll be underwater. Oh yeah, we're also at uh, Pidoc, uh, Lake Pidoc Reservoir, if you didn't notice. This is my normal um, lake to paddle on, close to home. This year, we are going to definitely get out and see some more, do more. We have, we mean my friend Brent and I, who is... <laughs> The cop got somebody. So there was a cop parked over here in the uh, kind of the, the shoulder of the road, and just, he's been there for a while. And I see the siren go off, and he just pulled over somebody. Glad it's not me. So like I got saying, in the next few weeks, uh, Brent and I, half of the canoe guys, we are going on a four-day trip. I'm not going to say where we're going to go. It's going to be a little bit of a secret. And uh, that should be fun. That's our first trip in a couple years together. Between him and I, we just couldn't get things arranged the past couple years, especially with COVID going on and whatever else going on. So schedules just never, the schedules just never uh, um, meshed up. Oh. And we have more stuff going on. Interesting. Maybe there's an accident. So this year, we are planning to do some stuff. Get out. Um, so yeah, four day trip coming up. New trip. And uh, be our spring trip. We've never, no, 
don't think we've done a spring trip before, at least not on video. Um, we might have done one years and years and years and very and a long time ago. But uh, this is our really first uh, spring trip together. It's gonna be fun. Might be a bit chilly, but it's gonna be fun. Did you want all the gas? <laughs> okay, I'll be there in a minute to help you. I'll be right back. do it today we are back to shore a bit muddy again another few weeks this here is all gonna be underwater we still got another I don't know what another three feet maybe even four feet to go here um, I know in June the water level is like right up to here so we still got some uh, water depth to go here but a nice paddle for the start of the season. Hope to do a lot more this year too. So come along and join us. And like I always say, get out there and get lost. See you later. <laughs>